God is showing you that God is making ways for you. God is not letting anything compromise what he has in store for you. So if a way has not been made, that way will be made. I'm telling you, something prophetic happened last night, right? Let's just say um, I had to get back home and let's just say I had to rely on faith, okay? Faith, that's it, yo. Public, you couldn't rely on it anymore, so I had to like basically call on the most high. And man, did I tell you, the third time I checked, the funds that were supposed to be in there was in my account. I'm telling you. All I did was I had faith. And you know what I did was I just kept checking. I don't know why. I did not overthink it. I did not get in my own way. I did not assume. No. Instead, I was having faith. You know, I believed. I didn't have any doubt either because there was no chitter chatter in my head. There was no words fighting, opposing each other. You know what I'm saying? Where you think one way and another way is like opposing that form of thinking. That's what we call spiritual welfare. It's where you're, some part of you is fighting against your higher self and it's trying to go at it because it does not want your higher self to fully embody you. But I knew. So this, this doesn't really, this doesn't phase me because I already know. So I'm just like, you know, the funds wasn't in there like I anticipated. The people that gave me the wrong, well, gave me the information, it was inaccurate. And all I did was, man, I had to call them most high because I was, I was like, yo, it was lonely out there. I'm just telling you, yo. And you couldn't rely on anything because everything was pretty much shut down. I had to go inside. And did I tell you the third time I checked, the funds was where they were supposed to be. And it was by the most high almighty, yo. And that's when I realized it dawned on me. It was, it's telling you that you need to have faith, crazy faith, because it's only by that faith will you see a way made. See, God wants you to only rely on God. He didn't want you to rely on anybody else outside of you. He didn't want you, not family members, not old homies, not people, not relative, nothing, none of that. It wanted you to rely on the most high and it needed you to understand who that was to build that connection. That is why things have been going out in your favor for. But now that you understand this part, I guarantee now that you're at this level of self-awareness right now, yo, everything is about to happen in divine order. So get ready because it's happening right now. You're about to see big changes. But one thing I know is that when you are being called by the most high for a higher purpose, God is going to strip everything away. I'm telling you, you'll notice that's the point when things just fall off. I'm talking if your car breaks down, you've been keeping it maintenance and fine and up and running to this until this time. Right. Until until finally you've been putting in all the work. Carl said, I'm ready for the change. I'm ready. You've been really keeping crazy faith. God's like, OK. You have faith, right? All right? Let me see how much faith you have. So car, so God is going to like take away your car, going to take away family, relatives. It's going to take, it's going to strip away everything to see if it can get an emotional response from you. But that is how you know you are being prepped for something much bigger because it's, it's not until when God stripped it, all that non all that non relevant stuff away from you is when you are being presented to something much greater than what you don't even fathom right now. If you are lucky enough to be in that position. What do you think? What do you expect? No, wait, don't answer that question. But what would you expect God to have for you? You feel me? And it's much bigger. It's what they talked about and it's happening right now. That is why these messages must be out. People who are tuned, attuned, they're only doing the message. They're only doing the work of the most high. They're only following the most high because they understand that you must follow in order to be in unison with God. You must follow God's instructions. It's that's why it's giving you everything. That's why it's bringing so much into your reality. And it's happening right now. And you're going to see major change before the end of this year. I'm getting beginning of December. 
on throughout until the next year and further on, you are going to be presented into so many individuals that fit what you have to bring. So I'm saying, uh, get ready. Keep holding on. You're three feet shy. God took away, stripped away all those vices because it felt like you were attached to them. It needs you to connect back with source. So that's why it stripped away. But I'm getting, God's about to present all that back to you, but better. I'm talking better, bigger display. I'm getting much more showy. It's gonna, it's gonna pop. It's gonna appeal the eye. And you're gonna be much stronger at the miss versus before. You're gonna see why God did all this stuff for him. I'm getting, it needed you to let go so that way you can receive. And that is why now you are receiving all of that because you let go. You didn't care. You let go of those in which you were trying to stay attached to, even though you put up a little struggle, but still you let go. And guess what? You are now about to be rewarded. Pour back into God. God's saying, focus on it. Focus on yourself, but also focus on the most high too, because you've been putting in enough work. You've been giving out enough. Now you got to give in, pour into yourself. That's what I'm getting. Pour all that back into yourself. Feed your soul because you've been trying to feed everyone else's soul and you almost drained yourself. You almost empty. But now God's like, it needs to put you in that position so you can feed yourself so you can fill your cup back up. So get ready, yo. So, yo, whoever stayed to the end of this video, congratulations. You're about to see so much financial riches, abundance. And riches is you are abundant in everything. I'm talking health. I'm talking wealth. I'm talking finances. You are rich in the mind. You are rich in your energy. This is something that is energy, currency. This is something that's currency. It's flowing. So, hey. Yo, yo, thank you guys for those who've been supporting this channel. I really do appreciate it. you guys been looking out, man. And which is why I had this particular banger for you. I know, right? But get ready because now you're about to be giving everything.